I admit part of me expected you to stand by your old friend. For better or worse, Wells was responsible for putting you back on your feet. That said, he's also a wanted criminal. For information regarding his whereabouts, you are entitled to collect a reward from Percival. I understand you've infiltrated the Ministry. The things you discovered there must have been shocking, even disturbing. Halcyon is on the verge of a total systems collapse. The truth is ugly and difficult to accept, but we must accept the truth before we can move forward. Malnutrition is already a problem. Disease will come next, followed by starvation, followed by a breakdown of society, followed by extinction. I know this must come as a surprise to you. I imagine you have questions. So that's your solution? Put the whole colony on ice? People ain't gonna stand for this. We'll fight back. We'll tear down the walls of Byzantium. No, Mr. Millstone, you will not. The workers of Halcyon will do exactly as they are told, as they always have. Your dreams of a people's revolution are the juvenile fantasies of a frustrated child. Adjutant Akande, as much of an honor as it is to make your acquaintance, I must say I am gravely disappointed. Protecting the colony was your duty. I share your disappointment, Vicar De Soto. Protecting Halcyon is my solemn duty, and I have been negligent. I can no longer depend on lazy, weak-willed bureaucrats to help me rescue Halcyon. I need someone with a backbone, someone like your captain. Malnutrition is already a problem. Disease will come next, followed by starvation, followed by a breakdown of society, followed by extinction. I know this must come as a surprise to you. I imagine you have questions. Guess monarch folk ain't the only ones fucked around here. That ain't exactly an uplifting thought. I know your face. Stellar Bay's most infamous hunter. How curious that you've thrown your lot in with the captain. Monarch may harbor delusions of independence, but make no mistake. You are a part of our colony. If we fall, Monarch falls with us. Is that why we were suffering plague in Edgewater? Malnutrition? All those folks sick and dying, and you knew why the whole time? Yes, Miss Holcomb, we knew why. We've known for some time that Edgewater was dying. The colony itself is dying. The suffering you experienced in Edgewater, the disease, the starvation, will soon spread across Halcyon unless we act. Malnutrition is already a problem. Disease will come next, followed by starvation, followed by a breakdown of society, followed by extinction. I know this must come as a surprise to you. I imagine you have questions. What's in this for you? There's gotta be an angle. There always is for people like you. I appreciate your skepticism, Dr. Fenhel, but I'm not doing this for any personal gain. My angle is the preservation of our colony by any means possible. Nothing more, and nothing less. I won't pretend the truth isn't damning. Yes, the colony is on the verge of collapse, but there is a way to save it. We need to talk about Emerald Vale. You handed Edgewater over to a band of dissidents. I can't have this. Adelaide McDevitt and her people have no place in the Halcyon that is to come. Edgewater needs to go. I want you to wipe the town out. No survivors. Are you out of your mind? We're not gonna murder a town of innocent people. You will do exactly as you're told, or I will have you shot for insubordination. I cannot condone this plan. Wanton's senseless destruction of life is never the solution. I don't need you to approve of my plan, Vicar. I need you to get it done. Edgewater needs to go. I want you to wipe the town out. No survivors. I will hunt beasts until I'm out of ammunition, and then I'll fight a good long while after. But I am not about to mow down a crowd of innocent people. Then I suggest you find your courage, or pretend you're hunting beasts. You're a monster. Someone has to be. Edgewater needs to go. I want you to wipe the town out. No survivors. I get that you board types are all about efficiency, but isn't this a bit much? 
I'm asking your captain to amputate a rotting limb from the colony. I'd expect you to understand, Dr. Fenhill. Now is not the time for half measures, Captain. I need a decision from you. You replace a loyal, if hard-headed, town leader with a revolutionary. Adelaide's people have turned Edgewater into a hub of dissidents. These people are dangerous. They're going to become more dangerous after the collapse. We need to put them down. Now. The dissidents currently occupying Edgewater answer to no one. They're an unknown, unpredictable variable, and I can't have that. I'm not asking you to be a murderer. I'm asking you to be a surgeon. Edgewater is a necrotic limb on the body of the colony. It must be severed. Don't fool yourself. The dissidents occupying Edgewater are rebels harboring dangerous and seditious ideas. Left to their own devices, their numbers will grow. Graham Bryant and his merry band of morons caused enough trouble on Monarch. I won't risk the same thing happening in Edgewater. No, allowing thousands of colonists to starve to death because we couldn't make one cold-blooded decision is insane. What I'm suggesting is absolutely logical. You talk less like a human than mechanicals I've known. I am responsible for every single human life in this colony. Do you imagine I relish the thought of killing some of them to save the rest? Steal your spine, Captain. Do what needs to be done. I won't. You're better than this, Captain. You have to be. Don't make me choose between you and Edgewater, Captain. Between you and my people. Please. I won't. You're better than this, Captain. You have to be. Not this, Captain. Never this. I won't. You're better than this, Captain. You have to be. This lady wants to kill my people! And you're... you're just gonna help her? I'm glad you can keep control over your associates. Edgewater is beyond saving. We're going to have to erase the town, but we're going to do it systematically. You were in the Emerald Vale Geothermal Plant. Do you remember what you discovered there? There was an accident at the Emerald Vale Geothermal Plant many years ago. Auto mechanicals turned hostile and slaughtered the plant's workers. Tragic, really. In fact, Spacer's Choice manufactured the incident for an insurance claim. They outfitted their mechanicals with a termination protocol, which is exactly what we need. I'm arranging for a delivery of mechanicals to Edgewater. These mechanicals have been equipped with the same termination protocol, which must be activated from a terminal in the plant. Once the mechanicals are finished cleaning out Edgewater, I'll need you to go in and clean out the mechanicals. Understand? One last thing. Spacer's Choice sent a team of soldiers to investigate your little misadventure in the geothermal plant. Tread lightly. Report back to me when the job's done. Where are we headed? <laughs>